immersive experience, just talking you through the history of a couple of inmates that were here at the time and the crimes they committed. Um, it's called the Dark Walk for a reason, it is dark, there's loud bangs and there's flashing lights, yes. okay? <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. The adventure begins. Make your way carefully. Beware, these spaces are dangerous. Do not wander off. Gather around. Deutsch, your guide, will be with you shortly. Your guide, Deutsch. in jail, and as proud a local as you're likely to meet. Cornwall's got wild windswept coats, time locked towns, and mineral mines as old as you like. But death and harsh retribution lurk about these times. If you want to live and save yourselves from the pain of a grimy cell and tortuous punishment in Bobbin jail, you'll heed these words. Never Never stray from the path. Now, ready yourselves for a jeopardous jaunt into a perilous world not so long ago lost. Go on through the arch behind you and mind your step. Welcome to my cavern. Enjoy it. You may never leave. Through Cornwall's hidden sea is buried deep beneath your feet. A secret subterranean world of caverns, tunnels and hollows, dens for outlaws and lairs for creatures of legend. There you go, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> This is a long forgotten mine, once seen with untold riches. Now I'm a god of a day. Here, stop dreaming about that pretty little foul maid and chuckle up the trap. Eh. Tin for pewter plates, crystal quartz for fine jewelry, copper for coins. Try and break, Lord Pharaoh. I know. What? Look up! weren't the only Cornishmen risking their lives down in the Earth's belly. Some fancy it would be the perfect place to lie low from the law. These gentlemen of the night are smugglers. They earn their lawless living by hauling forbidden cargoes of baccy, brandy and gunpowder off the coast by moonlight. They hide the contraband in secret coves and in caves. If they're not destined for the gallows or a revenue man's bullet, they'll meet their fate on the business end of a skirmisher's sword. What's that? That's the law. Damn your blood, Carter. You tried to shoot me half me plunder. I did not. Entombed 
for eternity. They stray from the path.
won't keep you on the straight and narrow, not around these parts. Just you take this pair of brothers in arms. The Lightfoot Rats. It's still not loaded. Of course it be. Should we test it? You want the magistrate to knock in? Then let's not be a tyrant. Neville Norway, a money cat, carrying up fortune shrewdly made trading timber. But even the wisest can stray from the path. Weary of travel, he took a shortcut and cut short his life.
rejoiced in the conflagration and took no steps to hide her party. But she'd soon enough have ample cause to repent. Well, you all took precious little heed of my warnings. You strayed from the path. Now judgment awaits. Please go through the doors and enter the courtroom. Mr. Justice Denman. Elizabeth Osborne, you stand charged with the despicable crime of arson. The witness attested that you willfully set fire to a considerable bow of corn and took pleasure in spreading the fire. <sighs> Farmer Log's livelihood was left in cinders, and you laughed at his distress. You showed blatant disregard for the sanctity of property, and failed to demonstrate any remorse. Elizabeth Osborne, you have strayed from the path of righteousness, and have been found guilty. James Lightfoot, you stand accused of the heinous crime of murdering Neville Norway. He was unarmed, yet you set about him brutally with a pistol and a club, sending him to an early grave. This was a cowardly highway robbery of a fine merchant of unblemished character, who leaves a widow and six children, all now unprovided for. William and James Lightfoot, your crime was vicious, and you deserve to receive the same degree of mercy as you showed to your unfortunate victim. You have strayed from the path of righteousness and been found guilty. Sarah Paul Green, you are charged with the heinous crime of administering a lethal poison to your husband. A man to whom you sworn lifelong devotion and obedience before God. You claim the arsenic was for vermin. Yet you had no more an infestation of rats than an infestation of pixies. <laughs> the poison was for your poor husband. You fed it to him for supper, hidden in a pat of butter. <clears throat> of all the wicked methods of murder, poisoning is the devil's own. Your hardness of heart is unforgivable. You have strayed from the path of righteousness and been found guilty. Defendants, yes, you before me, you have all been found guilty. And I sentence you to hang until dead. You will be buried in an unmarked grave. You will not be mourned. You will be forgotten. May the Lord have mercy on your souls. Take them away.
Ya. done is make you sit there with the buckles and whip you. And two people in a tiny little cell that big. Hospital bit of the prison. Gatehouse. Governor's house. Might be a few more. Building history. Months. 
so tiny. Look how small this case. So this is the lady that threw her baby down the well. My poor Selena. I write to you now and you So this is just like a sack and I presume that's a toilet because there isn't one and the window is tiny and it's all stone which would make it really cold because this is all the original uh, cell. Obviously the door there's no hole in it. <laughs> oh there's a little peep through there. Yeah. This was the governor's office. Oh, wow. These are keys. These are the original keys. Oh, wow. Maybe this is an old original key as well. Pause the video now to read that. This, the beast of the bottom bit.
to Bodmin Jail, the most haunted place in this accursed isle. Many tormented souls are entombed beneath your feet, trapped for eternity. These spirit-haunted stones hold a thousand secrets. Dare you venture into the dark? You may glimpse them in a mirror, howling for release. Pretty as a picture, Selena Lodge in a white wedding dress. God bless her broken neck. Selena murdered her child, was hanged and now haunts these very spaces. You may kiss the bride. Do you feel the cold in their lifeless sorrow as they try to make contact? Within these very walls at Bodmin Jail, apparitions have <laughs> and visitors wow. have felt and seen their presence. Shadows roam and whispers fill these rooms. Be still. These spirits are among you. William and James Whiteford want to be your friends. Come closer. They had many that came to see them die. Their spirits long for forgiveness, but it never comes. They may be waiting at the window. They may prowl behind you, waiting to pounce. So many restless spirits. The prison walls are watching you, and there is nowhere to hide in England's most haunted place.
So, guys, this is the hanging bit. 